Hey guys, it's Tom with Insane Retro Bros. So I'm here. I did the whole TikTok thing. I added the clouds to my man cave. So my man cave, game room, whatever you want to call it, it's Miami Vice themed. So I got, you know, my Vice City character that looks like me, custom made by, by the way, if you want something like that, let me know. I know the guy at Memento Brand on Instagram. Hit him up. I mean, look at that. that shit's fire. Right, right there. So, um, gotta give a shout out to my guy. You know, I went all Miami themed in here. I got a Miami LED light. Got some palm trees over there. Got my games and all that, you know? So anyways, that being said, um, I did the clouds. This honestly, this is the best way to do it. There's tons of videos. Something that the videos don't talk about is you know, they tell you to buy poster board. That's step one, right? Buy the poster board. Get duct tape. Get the polyfill, which is this stuff. I probably use about six bags. I mean, I have like a 10 by 15 foot room. Um, and I also use the Gorilla Glue uh, spray adhesive, which worked great. Um, so this is my second attempt at this because I did it once. And I did what the, what a lot of uh, YouTubers were saying, you know, you, you see this, this, this is a poster board. So what I did was I took poster board and I duct taped the corners of the poster board to the ceiling. Now, the problem is, yeah, duct tape's great and all, but when you're not home, the AC's off, or you live in a hot state or city, like I live in Miami, humid as hell, it gets hot. I'm sorry, but it does. I'm sure other states, it gets hot or cities, whatever. And heat and adhesive does not work well. So one day it was up for like three weeks. I chilled in here all the time. I had some personal stuff happen. And then I got home where I didn't even come in here for like a week. Got home, looked in the room, the whole cloud ceiling was hanging on my ceiling fan. It was all on the floor. It was everywhere. It was a hot mess. Why you ask? because I duct tape the poster board to the ceiling. Do not do that. Worst mistake you can do. Honestly, hands down, the best way to do it, staple gun, staple gun, staple gun. Because if not, you're gonna be fighting with it. You're gonna be trying to put it up. It's gonna be a pain in the butt. Now, you could use like that extra strength uh commercial double-sided tape but man you do that you're gonna be sitting there for like ever in a day peeling the red like plastic on it to keep it you know sticky and that's gonna take forever me i realized staple gun was the way to go and it's not gonna come down anytime soon so what i did was because it's like 18 by 24 poster board that's what you're supposed to use which you can get at walmart for super cheap it's like i think 60 or 80 cents a pop or you go to home, uh, you can get it on Amazon. I bought like a 30 pack on Amazon for like 20 bucks, some crazy number like that, which came in handy because I ended up having to do it a second time. So step one, poster board. This is what I did. The best possible way to get it to stick, staple it to the ceiling. Now, what I did was I don't want any kind of, uh, you know, failure in my project. So I'll show you guys right here. You see that duct tape? What I did was I put duct tape on each of the four corners of the poster board and in the center. And from there, I stapled it into the ceiling because I didn't want the poster board because you never know what these paper brands, they could be cheap poster board, maybe too much weight with the, depending on how many uh, LED lights you use, bringing out down too much weight and it could rip through. You don't want that. So what I did is kind of reinforce the poster board I put some duct tape, then stapled it. Then, step two, after you, buy, you, you, you staple it to the ceiling, you want LED lights. Obviously, you want good LED lights. My mistake the first time was I bought the cheap brand. Bought the cheap brand. Then as, as I put the lights up, I, I had one strip, it was like 60 feet, did a spiral and I started messing around with it. I realized I didn't like the features on the LED lights. 
all I did was like a pulsing, didn't do any like chasing or anything like that. I was like, that sucks. So I hadn't finished yet. I'd ran out of like two or three bags of the polyfill. So there was still enough for me to order one more round of strip lights, which I did. But I did more research th that, that time around and I ordered the Govi RGB IC strip lights. Why? Because you do lightning effects. Cause like my whole thing was, I wanted to make it look like a storm, you know? So I did a big old spiral being in Miami, we get hit by hurricanes. So I was trying to go for that kind of like that spiral hurricane look. And then on the outer rims, I did like a lightning effect. So you'd see like the light flashing, like it was like, you know, lightning, a lightning storm, whatever. So that's step two, LED strip lights. Make sure you get a good brand with all kinds of crazy features where they chase each other, they flicker, they change colors. That's super important. Not a lot of videos tell you to get, you know, specific brands. They're like, oh yeah, monster, hey, this, that. No, but the cool thing about Govi is that you download their app and there's a whole community and you could actually apply what other people did to their uh, strip lights, which they're programmable. You could, you know, plan out each segment of the Govi uh, uh, RGBIC LED strip lights. It's a really cool strip light, not gonna lie. So then what I did was after I'd used the cheap ones for the spiral in the middle, I lined it up all around, you know, around the room because I'd already done the middle with, you know, the, the polyfill and the lighting. So the blessing in disguise was when this all came down, I said, you know what? I want more LED strip lights. So then what I did was I bought more Govi uh, RGB IC because they're the best ones. They're also Alexa smart device compatible, which is great. So that's something else you want to look up at. Um, and I threw them in the middle. I threw a couple little more, you know, little spirals in the middle. And also make sure you come up with a good design. So it's not just like random. I like the spiral look. It looks pretty cool because then you know, when you, have, you know, you see the difference in color, it just looks so much more like detailed. I'm just saying it's pretty badass. So that's step two, good LED strip lights. Pay like the extra 15, 20 bucks. Trust me, it is worth it. Then step three is putting up the clouds. Obviously you want to use this, this. This is actually really good. Uh, they're spray adhesive. You just do a couple little spritzes and you stick it up to the ceiling like three seconds, maybe five seconds at most. And the beauty is when my, when my initial cloud wall came down, I mean, my cloud ceiling came down, I didn't buy any more. I reused it. It came right off the, the poster board really easy, just like barely scraped it off and boom, it was good to go. And that's pretty much the only thing that really like stuck to the ceiling was, you know, the uh <laughs> the polyfill and actually i'd actually kind of got some on the ceiling because obviously i didn't you know fill up every single little gap on the ceiling that you know i missed but the cool thing is it came right off the ceiling didn't leave like crazy residue didn't um leave behind too much fiber it, it all came off so and, and like in the, in the long run if you decide to get rid of it you don't have to worry too much about you just paint over it and you'll be fine guaranteed so but honestly, that is the best way to do this. Like if you don't want this thing come crashing down while you're sleeping or it, it, it's a bummer, man. Like it really is. If you, I was so upset when it came down, but then like I was gonna, I started to work on it and I was like, I'm so upset that I can't even work on it. Right. But then I walked away, I let it marinate and I realized I can make this look even better than the first time. And at the end of the day, it, it, it's coming out way better. I'm not 100% done because obviously you see this big old corner I haven't finished yet, but that's what I'm doing now. So um, when I'm done, I'll take a quick shot with all the effects that I wanted, that I that I specifically wanted in my room and I'll show it to you guys. But literally the best way to do it is this way. I promise you, promise, 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 promise. Don't use duct tape unless it's all right, guys.
that guy. At Memento Brain on Instagram for that dude. If you want a custom made Vice City or video game artwork, go to that dude. Here it is. Cloud Room, Vice Room, Clouds are designed. I gotta say I'm proud of it. And oh, by the way, that neon light man, it has like a whole nother effect to the room. Just like bouncing off the clouds and it is dope. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Any comments, questions, like, subscribe, do what you gotta do. I'll be putting out more content for you guys. And uh Catch you on the flip side.